proactive word, right? So you devour, you eat, you eat with relish and joy and gusto. And it's coming to town. What makes you most excited about devour? Um, the diversity of our programming this year is really exciting for us. Uh, not only do we have 55 new films from around the world, uh, a good number of world and Canadian premieres that are happening, but we've really reached out to a larger community of people in the digital film and television world this year too. So one of the things I'm most excited about is uh, when my business partner, Leah Ronaldo and I were in Berlin earlier this year at the Berlin Film Festival, looking for films that we could uh, showcase here at Devour, we had the opportunity to meet Thomas Struck, the chair of the Berlin Film Festival's Culinary Cinema Program. He's coming to Devour. He's going to be the chair of our jury. Somebody from the Berlin Film Festival is coming here and has kind of started a liaison between our two film festivals. I couldn't be more over the moon than to think that Devour is actually got a linkage to the Berlin Film Festival. Because everyone's hearing about a Anthony Bourdain coming, which is fantastic, but it's more than just Anthony coming, right? It, or... Well, Anthony's only here for 24 hours. So it was an anchor to get the world's media to pay attention to what was going on here in Wolfville. For him to have a little taste of what it's like, we'd always heard that it was on his bucket list to be involved in a film festival. Uh, and ours was a film festival about food. So we think that's the icing on the cake and what's made it, made it work for him to come. He's only here 24 hours, but... He wanted so desperately to be a part of this thing that even though it's just a little window in his schedule, he's flying from Washington, D.C. to here for 24 hours, and he's flying to New York and then on to, Mad on to Madagascar the same day. And what do you hope to uh, show him while he's out here? Are you going to drive him around the valley a little I, bit? I wish there was the luxury to do that. He goes right from event to event to event to bed to a plane is essentially what happens. But what we are going to show him is uh, great cuisine that's done by our great Nova Scotia and our visiting chefs that evening. Great Nova Scotia hospitality. He's being inducted into the province of Nova Scotia's Order of Good Cheer officially. Yeah, right on. Along with all of our 30 visiting chefs, delegates, writers, and VIPs that are coming from around the world. Uh, so he's going to walk away with a I am now an ambassador to Nova Scotia certificate. Um, and he's going to eat really, really well. And of course, he's giving a 25 minute talk at the end of his, uh, the film that he's picked to show, Eat, Drink, Man, Woman. Uh, and then he's doing an hour-long book signing for about 100 people. It's as many people as we can fit into an hour. So we've really got him pretty busy the whole time that he's here. We really want him to come back sometime in the future so he can spend uh, a week or shoot his TV show here. That's right, because your intention is to continue with this festival, correct? Uh, every uh, part of my being wants to make this become not only an annual event, but something that lasts into perpetuity. My vision has always been to create the Sundance for food films. That's what I want for Wolfville and for Nova Scotia and Kings County that we can actually uh, spur uh, development in the film and television and digital media industry here and to become a relevant player because we're a very cool niche product. There's lots of content being made on the internet, on television uh, about food in every way, shape or form. Writing is being taken over by bloggers around the world that whose passions are food and or wine. So yes, I have every intention that I'm gonna put the next 10 years of my life into it. So that being 52, I'm gonna be doing it into my 60s and uh, hope that we can sort of come up with a good strategic uh, plan that'll keep it going forever. Was it a eureka moment to say, hey, this is what I want to do? Where did the idea come from? In 2009, when we started this, uh, it was a project of Slow Food Nova Scotia to try and attract a younger demographic to the actual organization. We had a lot of retirees that were a part of the movement, but we didn't have a lot of young people. I had heard through my involvement in Slow Food about uh, an event in Italy called Slow Food on Film. It was actually a film festival produced by Slow Food. And it, excuse me, it showed documentaries from around the world uh, about film, about, about food and uh, the sort of national and international and global iniquities that are going on in the food universe. So that's why we did it in 2009 was to have something like that here that would show uh, the world what was wrong with the food system. We showed Food Inc. that year, Robert Kenner's seminal film but we also showed films like Babette's Feast as well, too, for a bit of lightness and levity. So the aha moment was when we realized that this was popular. We had a thousand people show up to the first one in 2009. In 2011, when we did it again, we had 2,000 people show up. Last year, when we started it as an annual event, we had 4,000 people show up. And this year, we hope to see 8,000 tickets sold during Devour. So we have every anticipation that it should be uh, something that's important uh, and that's something that will attract visitors, will attract Haligonians and people from around the Annapolis Valley, 
but will attract people in the industry to want to come and shoot film digital media about food and then premiere it here. So it's, there's an industry component we're working in. And a good time of the year to have it in November, where traditionally it might not be as busy as other months. Was that taken into consideration? Well, as many of you know, that uh, when I started this thing, I still was a restaurateur uh, with a place around the corner here. That was usually pretty empty in November, as were many of other businesses, sort of that post-harvest, pre-Christmas season. Uh, so it seemed a really good opportunity to do something that might attract visitation and spending and interest in our area in a traditionally slow time of year. And that's how we got buy-in from organizations like the Nova Scotia Tourism Agency and ACOA and the municipality because we're filling a void in terms of seasonality. Uh, we hope that it will continue. Uh, and the one upside of global warming is that each year it's the weather's been better. So it's been pretty warm the last couple of years. We'll cross our fingers this year, too. Well, it's similar to the Deep Roots Festival that happens here in late September. It sort of fills that void a little bit as well. So how could the community get involved? So, so this is uh, obviously volunteer opportunities. Uh, educative are part of it. We have a great and healthy volunteer group this year of 60 volunteers, both from the community at large and students from the university and from things like King's Tech. Um, that's one way. We really want people to participate in some way, shape or form uh, in the future by making food related stuff. You can very simply do a two minute film on your video on your phone and make a food film. And we will look at anything if it's submitted to us. So engaging from a professional aspect or from a fun aspect of doing it is something we can do. And of course, we are trying to bring thousands of people to Wolf Hill, so we hope that the business community at large will engage. We do know that several of the businesses here in town are going to be doing welcome Tony windows. Uh, so we're really hoping that the businesses in town will actually participate and give it a really nice and festive atmosphere. So volunteerism, participation by actually increasing your awareness of the food system and as merchants and business people around town to engage and make it seem and feel like a festive place so that visitors that are coming here have a great time too. What about this uh, rock soup video? So the Path of Stone Soup actually is a film that was submitted to us and uh, it's a short film from Mexico and it's about a traditional soup uh, that is made there where they superheat rocks, so, uh, a community gathers together, they prepare food in a big outdoor sort of pit. They superheat rocks and then in this pit that they line with banana leaves, they add vegetables and broth and then they throw in the superheated rocks, thus cooking the soup. We, somebody made a film of this. We're showing it at Devour. We loved it. A great example of community food gathering and preparation. Uh, but the people that prepared the film did a successful Kickstarter campaign and they raised enough money to bring the entire crew, there's seven of them coming from Mexico, to come to Wolfville, be a part of Devour, and do a, a pop-up of the actual stone soup that will happen this Thursday night during the food truck rally. Fantastic. Thank you, Michael.